This is private property. A man searching for vengeance. No, my you do it. A cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. Triggered by an event that took place at 36,000 feet. When the trip of a lifetime turns into the worst civilian plane crash in German history. <laughs> Investigators must find out how two highly advanced aircraft could be in exactly the same spot at exactly the same time. Disasters don't just happen. They're triggered by a chain of critical events. Unravel the fateful decisions in those final seconds from disaster. July 1st, 2002. 8.48 p.m. Two hours, 47 minutes from disaster. A Bashkirian Airlines charter takes off from Moscow's Domodedevo airport. 20 minutes from disaster. At the Zurich Area Control Center, two air traffic controllers are on duty. One goes on a break. Peter Nielsen is now working alone. 12 minutes, 33 seconds from disaster. A DHL cargo plane enters Nielsen's airspace and requests permission to climb to 36,000 feet. Nine minutes, 49 seconds from disaster. A delayed Airbus is coming in to land at Friedrichshafen Airport. Nielsen tries to call the airport to hand over the flight. But his phone system is in backup mode due to maintenance, and the backup system has a fault. Five minutes, 21 seconds from disaster. The Bashkirian charter radios Nielsen. It's flying at 36,000 feet and is about to enter his airspace. Good evening. BTC 2937. Two minutes from disaster. The Bashkirian and DHL planes are now at the same altitude, less than 44 kilometers apart, closing in on each other faster than the speed of sound. The short term conflict alert, or STCA, should now warn Nielsen of the impending collision. But his radar is also in backup mode. So the STCA is not fully functioning. 43 seconds from disaster. Nielsen finally notices that the two planes are on a collision course. He immediately tells the Russian pilots to descend. Descent flight level 350. Seconds later, TCAS goes off in both planes. It tells the DHL pilots to descend. Descend. Descent. And the Russian crew to climb. Climb. He's guiding us now. Nielsen is unaware that both planes have been issued advisories. He repeats his instructions to the Russian pilots. Descent flight level. Russian guidelines allow pilots to make their own decisions in such conflict situations. Here, they follow Nielsen's command. Both planes are now in descent. 19 seconds from disaster. Nielsen believes the conflict is resolved. But before signing off, he tells the Russian crew that the DHL plane is approaching from the right. In fact, it's approaching from the left. Three seconds from disaster. The Russian crew have spotted the DHL plane. They pull up. But it's too late. Descend hard, descend! At 11.35 p.m., the planes collide 35,000 feet above the city of Überlingen, Germany. All 71 people on board the two planes die. 